Hello everyone and welcome to Bosky's Collection, where all your heroes and villains come alive. Today I'll be unboxing and reviewing Django Fett from the Star Wars movie Attack of the Clones. This is Hot Toys MMS 589. Here we have the art box for Django Fett. The cover has a photo of the figure with blaster pistol in hand, Mandalorian armor over flight suit. The Star Wars brand in silver letters at the center of the box. On the bottom, it has the traditional Hot Toys cigar band art used in most of their Star Wars releases. It has another photo of the figure, this time of Django Fett with the alternate head sculpt and poncho. The cigar band art is blue and it's for the Attack of the Clones movie figure releases. Star Wars MMS 589 Django Fett and one six scale collectible figure. This figure comes with a special feature, which as I mentioned before has additional head sculpt, a poncho and two styles of jet packs. Turning the box on the side, it has another photo of Django Fett on the cigar band, the Disney logo and the Hot Toys logo. On the back side we have the cast and crew, warnings, legal description and all that good stuff. We turn on the other side and we have just MMS 589, Django Fett and the Hot Toys logo in white. Removing the box cover we find the insert with another photo of Django Fett, this time in action. The jetpack lit and his two pistols drawn. Sparks on the floor and laser shots at him to give it a little more combat style realism. Here we have the figure. And my first impressions is that I love the chrome on the armor. The design of the suit is pretty dope. This figure I believe is a must have if you love Star Wars. Django Fett is trapped with Beskar armor from top to bottom. Beskar is depicted as plastic pieces painted in metallic chrome. So no die cast unfortunately. It would have been nice to at least have the helmet in diecast. The top of the helmet is removable and a swap out piece with a dent is provided. The swap out piece are held in place by a magnet. The shoulder pads are glued to the upper strap and are not removable. The gauntlets are all painted with some dry brushing and weathering. The utility belt is brown and it is all hard plastic, as well as the gun holsters. The brown paint consistent throughout. His legs have the chrome guards glued to the undersuit. And the undersuit is well sawn and loose to allow for posing. The color of the undersuit is bluish purple. Let's go over articulation for Django Fett, starting with the head sculpt. You can go a full 360 with the head. You can lean the head to the sides and you can go up and down. His arm has very little shrug, but has some swivel at the shoulder. The arm can be raised to about there. It can go backwards to about there. And the arm can extend outwards about 45 degrees. The figure's midsection can crunch forward and extend backwards. Because of the suit being sewn tightly around the waist and the belt, the figure has very little lean to the sides and very little twist. His legs have some swivel on the sides at the hip. 
and can extend outwards to about there. He can kick out to about there and extend backwards to about there. And the knee can bend to fully extend. The feet are on ball joints for maximum range of motion. And the bottom of the feet have threads, which is pretty cool. The hands are also on ball joints for maximum range of motion. Here we have the accessories for Django Fett. Starting with these smaller accessories, we have this piece which is called a code breaker. It's painted in silver chrome and blue. It is all plastic. This other accessory is the security overload. It's also plastic with grey color and a hint of maroon color on the handle. This is a glossy painted black canister that in the movie held the toxic worms. It is painted on the sides with chrome paint. Then we have the blaster pistols, chrome painted. And it has a gold color in the barrel crevice. He comes with two of those, they are identical. He also comes with a dart and cable, or perhaps a grappling hook. This is made of metal, and be careful not to bend it when moving or using it. The tip is plastic, silver painted. The grappling hook connects to the gauntlet on the right side. This one is also for the right side's gauntlet. It is called the anti-security blade. It connects with the gauntlet with pegs. The hoses are made of rubber, they're flexible, and they tuck into his right arm sleeves. The Temuera Morrison portrait is spot on. The paint application is superb. Even the shading of the 5 o'clock shadow beard is amazing. The headset communicator is made of rubber and it's painted black, and it's removable. It's just a magnificent paint work by Hot Toys. This is a swappable dome for the helmet. This one has a dent, and it matches the iconic dent that Boba Fett has. After all, Boba Fett inherited this armor from his father Django Fett. The poncho has a similar color as the undersuit. The fabric is soft, and it's wired for posability. Django Fett also comes with a dynamic flight sand and a base. The nameplate has Star Wars and Django Fett. The base is made of plastic and the stand is made of metal and rubber. It's flexible to allow for movement during poses. The stand has a typical protected foam. The base has a typical 
Hot Toys Star Wars metal plate design for the top of the base. Then there's the two interchangeable jetpacks. This one, I believe, was used at the beginning of the movie Attack of the Clones when he was in the planet Kamino. It is painted silver with blue and it has magnets. The dark blue combines with silver gray and chrome paint and I personally think it looks better in the figure than the other one. The other jetpack is a bit bigger. It's silver gray painted. It's also combined with dark blue and mustard yellow, as well as white and maroon colors throughout. This one looks like the one used during the battle of the planet of Geonosis. All the colors are weathered to show wear and tear. The tip of the jetpack is a rocket. It's removable. The flame effect that comes with the figure can be attached to the jetpack and then the rocket to show us if the figure is firing the rocket from the jetpack. It is a pretty neat effect for posing. The fire effects are both interchangeable with the jetpacks. Django also comes with the blowtorch fire effect that comes with a lot of Star Wars bounty hunters. The flame effect connects to his left side arm gauntlet. Typical flame effect has the dark orange tip and is grading to light blue at the connection point. The whole flame effect is translucent. Then we have three sets of swappable hands. The figure right now has the two relaxed hands. All hands are gloved and they're painted in this dark blue. Don't have a lot of details on them. This one is for his blaster pistols and he has a pair. And then we got a pair of fists. And these are the accessories for Django Fett. This has been my review of Django Fett from the Star Wars movie Attack of the Clones. This is Hot Toys MMS 589. I want to give a big shout out to Emil. He's a big friend of the channel and a big Star Wars fan. Thank you for your help with this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it, comment and share with your friends and other fellow collectors. Please show your support by subscribing to my channel. And if you do, hit the bell notification so that you can be alerted when more content is uploaded. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.